Back when I started college, I knew my first internship was going to be important, but I didn't realize just how important it was going to be and also how hard it was going to be to get. So these are five reasons why your first internship is so important. And if you're wondering how to land your first internship, I'll link a video where I talk all about that. Regardless of what you actually learn or do on the job, one of the most important parts of landing your first internship is that you'll be able to put it on your resume. Specifically, it serves as validation to potential future employers that you already cleared the bar somewhere else. Most companies don't want to be the one to take the initial leap of faith on you. A lot of places will tell you they're looking for second time and third time interns, and they'll just flat out reject you if you haven't already had another internship with someone else. Just getting any kind of relevant experience on your resume, even if it's not the coolest company or if it's not the most exciting job in the world, is probably going to be the most important thing that you have on your resume at this point, more so than your education and your skills. A big misconception of mine early on in college was that the work I was doing as part of my computer science degree was going to be pretty similar to what I was doing in industry as a software engineer, and they're actually pretty different. Your first internship will give you a glimpse into what your career might look like. This might be exciting and reaffirming that you're doing what you want to be doing. It might also help you realize this isn't what I want to do with my life. The earlier that you can have this experience, the earlier that you can either switch fields and find something that's a better fit for you, or the earlier you can double down and be confident that you're actually going into the right field. Your internship still might not completely reflect what actual full-time work looks like. At every one of my internships, I was essentially given an intern project, which basically meant it was something that was scoped and on my own that was meant to fit into 12 weeks, as opposed to doing what all of the normal full-timers were doing. But assuming that you're not kept completely separate from the rest of the team, you'll get a glimpse into what everyone else is working Working on, and you'll also get to pick your coworkers' brains about what they think about the company, as well as just being a developer. Spending 40 hours a week writing software for three months straight will naturally help you pick up some skills, and different skills than the ones you're learning in college. The skills that I gained in my first internship specifically helped my resume stand out to the recruiter from my next internship because I spent the entire summer working in C-sharp, which I would never have done as part of my college curriculum, and they specifically were looking for someone who had C-sharp experience. And I worked on a real project. I built an entire cross-platform mobile app, and I built a couple other desktop apps, and that was a lot better than most of the toy assignments that I had been doing up until then in college. Potentially, you'll also get exposed to some non-coding skills, like Agile, doing code reviews, and source control. All these types of skills are really important on the job, but you typically don't learn them in college, which means that getting an internship is a great way to be able to add them to your resume. If you play your cards right, you might never need to do another interview again if you don't want to. Doing well in an internship frequently results in a return offer, which means that if you had a great experience at the internship and you don't want to go through the time and stress of going through another recruiting season, you can just take the return offer and not worry about it. But if you didn't like your job or you just want to shoot for something better, it can still be useful as a fallback if you really can't find anything else that's better than not having any internship for the next year, and it can also serve as leverage. Generally, this isn't negotiation leverage. Most places are pretty set on what their pay is going to be, and if you bring a competing offer that's worth more, I haven't heard many cases of them budging, I'm sure it does happen sometimes. The main way this gives you leverage is because you can expedite the process with other companies. If I have an offer already from company A, I can tell companies B, C, and D, hey, I have an offer that's expiring in a few weeks, can you expedite the process for me? And in a lot of cases, they will do that because they want to get that offer in your hands before you commit to company A. Internships are a great way to make connections at your job in two ways. First off is the connections you make with people within the company. If you want to return to that company, but maybe not the same role or the same team, you can get to know other people on other teams during your internship and maybe find something that's a better fit. A lot of companies are open to this, which means you can kind of self-sort yourself into the role that you want to be in, as opposed to your first year where you probably just got randomly placed somewhere. Your manager and your coworkers can also be a great resource for letters of recommendation if you want to do something like grad school, and this is especially useful if you're not terribly close with a lot of your professors in college. The second part of this is the connections you make with people who don't stay with the company. This can be full-time employees, but this is probably most applicable to other interns. Looking back at all the people that I met during my three internships, a lot of them have gone on to do really cool stuff at other really good companies. In working alongside other interns, you're simultaneously building up your network, which can be really helpful if you're ever looking for a referral. Now, I always say I'm not a huge fan of relying on people that you don't really know for referrals. I think that's kind of going against the system of you can't actually speak to whether that person can do their job well, and then it doesn't mean a whole lot. 
But if you've actually worked alongside these people for several months and you can vouch for the kind of work that they do, then that's when referrals become really powerful. There's a lot of other reasons why your first internship is so important, but that's five of the biggest reasons. Anyways, that's it. Good luck with your internships, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.